Everybody, Darren Slaughter, DarrenSlaughter.com. This one's a little bit of a rant, a little bit of complaining. Uh, I know, wow, wow. But um, it's actually going to serve a purpose for you as well. I know there are a lot of uh, verticals in the home improvement space where you get some type of subsidy or free, uh, you know, website or web template or or you know a warm handoff from you know either a supplier or a manufacturer's website. And I can't tell you how badly I don't want you to do these. And the reason why is this: um, a couple of things. One is normally wrapped around your link to your website will be a find a dealer or an installer or a contractor near you. Now, you're paying for that somehow, some way, whether it be in some type of co-op budget or whether it be um, in some, maybe you're paying them a direct cost or maybe they're just kind of including it. Um, they're doing a throw-in website for you that's, you know, a boilerplate, looks like everybody else's, but, you know, it's generic enough that it doesn't matter because in your area there's nobody else that you know that that uses that particular product but that's great but when somebody has the ability to search for other suppliers or other contractors in your area you're just giving away business um, to your competition um, I know that the, especially in the HVAC I just had to, I just dealt with this in the in the HVAC space um, one of the major uh, manufacturers requires their plumbers um, or their their HVAC guys to have their sites created and built inside of their I kind of guess you know walled garden and every website looks the same all they do is change the address and the name of the of the company and from a user experience standpoint that looks so crappy it looks so bad especially when I do go in and say hey listen let me plug in my zip code and see how many guys I can find and talk to and every one of the sites looks the same um, and I'll even give you a little bit of a hint. It's, you know, the guy with the, you know, the suspenders and the, and the Jeff cap. Um, you know, you guys will know what I mean, who I mean, um, if you're in the HVAC space, um, just by that. Um, all the sites on that, on that manufacturer's page, they look terrible. They look terrible. Where's the user experience? Where's the ability to talk about your company and talk about how good you are? What makes you better than your competition? Nothing. The only thing different from one site to the next is a phone number and a name. And guess what? The average user is picking up two or three or four of those phone numbers, and all they're going to do now is beat you up on price. You have no ability to explain to them why you're the right choice, why your 50 years in service as a family business makes a difference to the guy that just started a year ago. That makes a big difference, that experience. Why your pricing is better or why you justify your price being high, whatever it happens to be, you don't get to explain any of that. You don't get to tell your story. You're a digital sharecropper. You're using land on somebody else's site and you're getting, you know, what are you getting out of it? What do you, what's the, what's the value? When, you know, a website that you create that you own for yourself is, you know, a couple of boilers is a, is, a, is a boiler job or a couple of hot water heater replacements and you have your own space on the web where you get to talk about your message and what makes you good Listen, don't give that away to somebody else just because they're giving you a couple coins to in, in co-op or they're doing it for free you're giving away business and you don't even know it so smarten up get your own site do your own thing put your message out there not somebody else's boilerplate co-op approved BS message that everybody else is doing. So that's it. A little bit of a rant, but a little bit of food for thought as you go into the new year, thinking about how you can improve your business. You don't know how much business you lost last year by somebody else finding another contractor that did exactly what you do, but they were just whatever, closer, faster, picked up the phone, didn't leave a voicemail, re responded to an email faster, whatever it happens to be. But that message, you weren't able to get across because you don't have a chance to on those sites. So that's it. Have a good one.